Good morning, guys. We're going to be doing a little flow. So we're going to be doing some stretching today. We're kind of just kind of go with the flow. Um, I'm just going to be doing a couple different stretches. I have an idea of what sequences I want to do, but I'm not exactly sure the entire routine. So we'll see how it comes out together. Um, but we're going to start standing up, grab some tea, water, coffee, whatever you need, and make sure you have a mat and some space where you can get um, a little bit of a clear mind. So. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the shoulders a little bit. I know I'm feeling it a lot at the top here, just because I've been doing a lot of work on the computer and I've been sitting down on the couch too. Um, so let's just take the shoulders right now. Let's bring them up. We're going to do a big inhale. And then as you bring your shoulders down and back, you're going to exhale. So bring them forward and up, inhale. And back and down, exhale. We're going to do five of those. So we have three more, big inhale and exhale bring the shoulders up to the ears big inhale and exhale big inhale and exhale and what we do one way we must do the other way so we're going to do that reverse so now you're going to bring them back and roll them forward okay so inhale as you bring them up exhale as you bring them down two more and one more. Perfect. All right, so from here, we're gonna do something very similar with the arms now. So what I want you to do is you're gonna bring your arms all the way up. And when you bring them down, you're gonna reach for the floor, scoop the floor back up again and into it again. So we're gonna do a couple of these, just kind of warm up the hamstrings even more, warm up that low back. And one more, and one, all the way up. You're gonna take it down to the side nice and easy. We're gonna go into that side bend and just switch it right over to the other side and bring it back over and switch it right away. Now this time you're going back to the center. I want you to lean down as far as you possibly can. And we're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna switch it right over to the other side, same thing for five seconds, as deep as you possibly can go. Five, four, three, two, one, good. We're gonna stand together, bring your feet together as well. You're gonna take your arms up, you're gonna bring it up overhead, and I just want you to reach up to the ceiling. You can even look back as well, so look all the way up at that ceiling and just reach. Stretch your body as much as you can. Breathe into it, and let the shoulders relax. Bring the hands down to the sides. We're gonna bring up the leg here. I'm gonna show you a side view. You want a 90 degree angle here, so we're doing a 90 degree. You're gonna hold it here for just a second. If you feel like you have good balance, then go into this next step. You're gonna take your hands, and you're gonna bring it underneath, right? Make sure you interlock the fingers a little bit, and you're going to bring it out in front of you. We're going to stretch out that hamstring and try to straighten out both of the legs. If you can't straighten out the leg, leave it bent. We're going to hold it here and just try to hold that. If you can't hold that, just leave it back to where that knee is bent in the previous position. And now from there, take that leg. You're going to bring it to the side. So I'll show you a front view. Once we got into that, you're going to take the leg to the side of the thigh here. Hands are going to be down. We're going to take two big inhales and exhales. So inhale and exhale. Try to remain that balance. Same thing again. Big inhale and exhale. Perfect. Now we're going to do that on the other side. So we're going to start from the beginning again. You're going to bring your leg up 90 degree angle. Just hold it here and try to focus on your balance, right? So we'll breathe here. And then if you're advanced, wrap underneath and bring that leg forward. Hold it here. So breathe into it. Try to keep the toe flexed. And we'll breathe out. And breathe in again. And breathe out. Perfect. You can bring that leg back down. You're gonna bring it out to the side now. Let that foot rest up against the thigh here. Same thing, we're gonna breathe into it and out two times. Big inhale and big exhale. Big inhale and 
one big exhale. Perfect, all right, legs are going back together. We're gonna take the arms all the way up, stretch, you're gonna let your head fall back. We're going back into that huge stretch again, really reach for the ceiling. Stretch out your whole body, let your shoulders go up. And exhale, everything back down. Perfect, now we're gonna take it down to the bottom here. We're gonna hold this for just a second. We're gonna get into more of like a split position. So what I want you to do is you're gonna take one leg back into that 90 degree angle. So now we're in this lunge like position. And from here, what you're gonna do is you're going to lean forward and stretch out that back hip. I also want you to take your arms and bring them up overhead and just kind of hold this stretch in the hips. We'll hold this here. Good, and now we're gonna come back. We're gonna go into that again. This time, watch your arms down. We're gonna go in with a quad stretch. So you're going to lean forward into that hip stretch again. And then from here, you're going to pick up that back leg. So you're gonna pick up that back leg and you're gonna lean into it. You could even hold on to the floor if your balance is a little compromised. So just hold this here. And if you wanna get crazy or challenge your balance, you can bring your arm up or you can even look up. I'm just gonna keep my hand on the floor. We're gonna hold this. And now we're gonna sit back on that hip. You're gonna bring your heel down, keep your toe up and stretch out that hamstring. We're gonna hold this here. Just breathe into it. All right, you're gonna go back 90 degree on both. We're gonna go down, you're gonna do that runner stretch. So hands down, tippy toe in the back. You're gonna reach all the way up, fingertips towards the ceiling, the sky. We're gonna hold that there. And from here, I just want you to lean into it a little bit more. So drop the hip, stretch it out. We're gonna hold this here. And look towards where you're going, all right? So you wanna look up. We'll hold this here. And now bring your hand down. We're gonna switch it over and switch it to the other leg. So you're gonna go back in 90 degree again. Remember, we do have that hip stretch first, so you're gonna go and lean into it, bring your arms up and back, hold this here. Get a really big stretch in this hip. Good, now from here, you're gonna take it, we're gonna go into that quad stretch, you're gonna lean again. You can look up, you can look out, or you can look down and just kind of keep yourself a little bit more balanced, but we're stretching out that quad. You're gonna hold this here. Really lean into it for a deep stretch. This feels so good. And now we're gonna take it back. We're going into that hamstring stretch. Heel down, toes are up. You're gonna lean into it. You wanna get crazy with it. Drop your head down to your knee. Good, and we're gonna bring it back to that 90 degree. Now we're gonna take that leg. We're gonna get down into tabletop. I love tabletop. So let's bring this leg down. We're gonna bring the hands down as well. I want you to hike up your shoulders as much as you can. Tuck your chin in and hold that cat. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good, now exhale, you're going into cow. You can look up. One more, here we go, big inhale. And exhale. Good, we're gonna do thread through the needle just to release some tension in the neck. You're gonna take the hand, palms up, and you're gonna slide it through. Drop your ear to the shoulder. Drop your ear to the ground. It's gonna feel so good. And other side, same exact thing. I have a feeling I'm gonna get a little bit of a neck crack when I take it over, but drop your ear down. Try to stretch out the shoulder, breathe into it. And breathe out. Good, we're gonna bring it back up. You're gonna bring your hands forward. You're going back into child's pose. Move your knees away from each other. That way you can really sit back into it and drop your forehead down to the ground. I'll let you hold this here. Let's hold it for five seconds at least. Good. We're going back into tabletop position. I'm gonna have you drop down on your tummy. We're gonna push up with the hands. You're gonna go into that lower back stretch. You're gonna feel this in the hips too. I just got a lower back crack, so 
Just hold this here, lift your chest up. Keep the feet on the floor for right now. And now take it down again. Point, put your toes down because we're gonna come up on this one. So lift your chest up and now lift off the ground. We're gonna hold this here. Hold it, hold it. And now we're gonna go into downward dog. So you're gonna lift up and we're gonna hold it here. Good, you're gonna take one leg, bring it in. We're going into that pigeon, stretch out the hip. We're gonna hold this here, guys. Lift your chest up. Now from here, I'm gonna have you drop down. Head all the way down to the floor. Good, you're gonna come up. Now from here, you're gonna actually twist towards the leg that's in the front. Just do a little bit of a twist. Good, and then bring it down. We're gonna bring this back up. Tippy toe back into the downward dog. Other legs going in. And same thing again, okay? We're gonna start up here. Lift your chest up, stretch out that low back. And nice and easy, go down, reach in front of you. Bring it back up. Now from here, you're going into that twist, right? So towards the leg in the front, and you're gonna twist a little bit, stretch out that back hip, right? So we'll hold this here. Good, bring it back to center. We're gonna go back into the downward dog again. From here, just bend both knees. And extend. And bend and extend. Now you're going to do a little bit of dancing. Stretch out the calves. Good. Now knees back down to the floor, going back into child's pose, head all the way down to the ground. Hold it here. And we'll come all the way up. All right, guys, you are almost done. We're gonna go into some more advanced stretches. So if you have a fragile lower back, I would recommend skipping the next few. I'm gonna get some coffee before that though. Um, but what we're gonna do now is you're gonna lay down your back. We're actually gonna go into some back bends here. So again, if you have a fragile lower back, I would skip out on this. But if you wanna challenge yourself, this would be a fun little challenge to do, kind of test your flexibility a little bit. So you're gonna lay all the way down on your back. We'll just start off nice and easy first. Go into that pencil stretch. Just kind of let your arms and your legs, let them lay on the floor. We'll hold this here. And just breathe into it. Breathe into your stomach here. And breathe out. We'll do two more of those. Breathe in really, really big. And exhale. And now one more, big inhale and big exhale all right are we ready guys here we go so we're going to get into that back bend position you're going to go a little wider than shoulder width apart on the feet but we're going to do something in a second to change that you're going to press up and hold now from here bring your legs closer together and straighten them out stretch out the shoulders and just breathe into it and hold And now you can bring your legs back a little bit. You're gonna go down on the forearms if you can. And just a little challenge here, just hold it. Again, just hold it here, it's a little bit more advanced. And then from here, we're gonna press up. Bring the legs together, hold it. Bring them back and release. Hands out to the side, you're gonna give yourself a big hug. Here we go. Just so we can stretch out the back the other way. Let's hold this here. Let's breathe into it three times. Big inhale and big exhale. Big inhale and big exhale. Big inhale and one last big exhale. Perfect. 
You guys are all done today. Thank you for doing a little flow and stretching with me. I'm not a certified yoga teacher, but I am a yoga enthusiast. So take the rest of the day, finish your coffee, your tea, your water, whatever you took today. And see you guys back tomorrow for a full body workout. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.